Hey, what's up guys? My name is Moda and welcome back to the Mining Stacker YouTube channel. Today's video, we're gonna be talking about CASPA and their new KII, which is the CASPA Industrial Initiative, which they just announced. So there is a little website, a lot of good info. We're gonna kind of just peruse through it. We're gonna talk about what it actually is, who's involved and why it's kind of a big deal and specifically for adoption, right? One of the biggest critiques with CASPA is that it's a ghost chain and the lack of actual use. And this is gonna be the beginning stages of bringing potential adoption on the more institutional and industrial front, which is a pretty big deal. Okay, so we're gonna talk about kind of what it is, what's going on, and kind of still key reasons why adoption is still gonna be a big deal and why there's still a lot of things in play that are gonna increase that adoption, right? So if that sounds good, guys, stay tuned. Let's get to this thing. So they kind of teased this yesterday and they officially debuted the site today and gave us a lot more info on this new initiative. Right, so we all know Caspa, so I'm not gonna go into the whole details here. But a big gripe with them has been what? The lack of actual use case, the lack of actual adoption, which I kind of disagree with. Like for me, the big thing, the big thing with them, period, is just the speed, right? It's proof of work, decentralized, and the speed. It's a proof of work that's extremely, extremely fast. Time to finality is ridiculous. Blocks per second speed is ridiculous. Okay, which I know a lot of people gripe like, oh, we just need more than a fast blockchain. They're all over the place. Not at this rate and not at this extent, right? And at the same time, to do a lot of the things that they want to do potentially, and this is including with any chain, you need to have that speed. You need to have that security to be able to do those things, right? And ideally, where do you want to go if you're a builder? You want to go with the best. You want to go with potentially the fastest, right? So that's why... For me, that's always been a big selling point. And just on that narrative alone, it's huge because that's where people are going to want to go to. Okay, so that's why like previously, like that's why Kadena was a big thing. Fast proof of work. This one is on a whole different level. Okay, and so far, it's still early on though, right? We're gonna talk about these things and why adoption is gonna be key here, but just keep in mind, this is still extremely early, right? It doesn't mean just because of this initiative or the things going on that, okay, we're gonna get adoption like that. It's these are the beginning stages and they're like putting down the foundation to what it can potentially, potentially will be, right? So let's start talking about this thing though. So the CASPA Industrial Initiative is, their aim is to position CASPA as the ultimate base layer for various applications, fostering a robust ecosystem that unlocks unprecedented levels of scalability, security, and decentralization for industrial and enterprise applications and finance supply chain, energy, and the public sector while promoting sustainable and ethical development. Okay, so specifically, this initiative is regarding those sectors. And it's pretty bullish because, again, this is focusing another use case, a whole other sector on the industrial and institutional front, okay, which is another big thing. And what I love about here is that they're packaging everything up to essentially be able to sell it to them easily. Okay, it's one thing to talk about, all oh, crypto, blockchain, like most people... Even on that front, it's still such a new thing, right? But doing it this way, like setting up like pilot programs, which is what they intend to do, it's an easy way to actually show people the potential here. Like, oh, okay, you can actually use it to track things. You could use it for supply chain purposes. You can do RWAs with it. Like it's actually showing that, putting it together, putting together presentations, putting together this website. It's a big deal, right? It makes it very easy to be able to actually have those use cases actually have that type of adoption. Okay, we've seen other blockchains do this pretty successfully and that's how they've been able to get those big players involved, right? Because a lot of times they don't really see the potential there. Oh, it's just a fast blockchain, who cares? Oh, you can do all these things on it? That's when it becomes a big deal, right? And then kind of what had me bullish, like going through the website are the people involved in this, right? So it's very specific people that are board members here and as you go through the site, you kind of see why they have those people specifically on there and kind of their purpose. Okay, so I'll put the link to the website in the description. Not going to go through the whole thing, just going to give little tidbits of every little thing. Again, a lot of good info here. Very bullish. Okay, so their chairman, very experienced, Paul Van Son. You can go through his whole resume. A lot of experience there, right? So again, these aren't just like Joe Blows or like community members who are trying to do something. They, it's 
they're pretty involved, okay? And they're all specifically in those specific sectors that they had mentioned earlier, right? So they are in positions to be able to talk to people who key players in this field, right? So chairman, very experienced, their secretary general, uh, seven years in blockchain, Barra heads institutional relations at the International Association for Trusted Blockchain Applications, where she works with 230 plus leaders across industries, academia, and the public sector to promote sustainable blockchain adoption. Pretty good there. We have another board member here who is a professor of scientific communication. She was a communications director at Yahoo and marketing and comms director at another big group. We have Rory O'Neill. Since 2015, Rory has been at the forefront of developing proofs of concept for DPIN on blockchain, a commitment to integrating advanced technologies with traditional industries. Okay, so again, more adoption on the institutional front. Okay, his work aims to interconnect international power grids, optimizing the transition to renewable energy sources and advancing the global energy internet initiative. Okay, we have another board member here who is the creator of the CryEngine 3D technology and Far Cry and Crisis video game series with whom he has collaborated since his Surtech years, Crytech years, excuse me. In this role, he manages the CEO office and the company's technology, gaming, and various investment portfolios. He is one of the pioneering entrepreneurs in the esports industry, so in the gaming sector. Charles Bourne is a leading expert in the realm of RWA tokenization, so getting into that sector here as well again everybody involved has a specific reason that they're board members right it's pretty interesting that they chose it that way so everything they kind of highlighted at the beginning there's somebody involved that can relay those informations that has communications with that sector right so pretty pretty big deal would recommend going through this website guys again a lot of good info and as we go through their overall initiative here, again, more things here you can kind of see like where their vision is, what they're looking at. So it's to set strategic direction, guide the development of Casper-based applications and services to meet evolving industry needs, drive innovation, global adoption, kind of go down. Key highlights for me was launch pilot projects, implement real world demonstrations of Casper's capabilities, gathering valuable insights to refine and improve the Technology provide a launch pad for startups, right? So this is an interesting and the best way to showcase these kinds of things, right? It's one thing to say, oh, I could theoretically do this and do that. But doing a pilot project, like actually demoing it, showing a real world use for it is what's going to get this type of adoption that we want. Okay, so very good idea. I love how they're doing this. I love how they're packaging this. Okay, and as again, as you go through, they're highlighting like in the, for the finance sector, cross-border payments, RWA tokenization, which is a big buzzword right now, DeFi, the eventual stable coins on Caspa, and even laying big on like the supply chain, right? So kind of for any guys who are like VeChain fans, kind of going into that whole sector also, because again, blockchain is a big, it's a, like a use case that makes sense, right? And in this case, also IoT integration, which is another thing that going to go into the supply chain, right? So just a lot of good things here different use cases all over the place again industrial commercial like government use public service use again they're showing like digital identity records voting systems things of that sort and again to be able to demo these things and although they're probably not going to be a big thing here in the u.s although some cities counties have started using certain things you got to think globally right across the world a lot of them have started using like helium i know you guys don't like helium but that's one who has started working with other governments across the globe they have a similar initiative that they did for their iot use case right they have a whole group that is dedicated just doing the same exact thing right just highlighting specific things working with those companies working with those governments to provide solutions for them kind of packaged in a way so it can, can make sense for them right because again they're not going to go and look for these things. They don't really know the extent of what's possible, the potential here. But when you're able to package it up in a way that they could understand, that's where you can get adoption from that front, from that institutional front, from that industrial front. Right. And this is extremely bullish because it's been at least for in like crypto world, it's been this can potentially nail like every major sector. Right. So as far as like the mining and such, it has all of us locked in. We've been in the game for a while, and it's crazy, the, just the adoption it's gotten, right? Not only from us miners, but then it grew into 
even like the traders and investors and that whole front that whole front is also there and that's the reason it blew up so much and now this is going to take it to that next level to that industrial use case right so it's a pretty big deal and this is again at the beginning to just more adoption okay so that doesn't mean that this happens and oh next month we're going to have all these deals in place this is on the beginning stages okay you have to fully understand that all these things and the reason why i'm so bullish on it is that a lot of these things aren't going to take off tomorrow right i know a lot of people got disappointed with like the krc20 potential and everything going on there again it's the beginning groundwork the framework for these things to take place that's the stage we're in right but we're doing everything in the right way in the right manner these are the beginnings of it but it's going to take time right these are the again the beginning stages we have to build on it we have to get builders to come and build on it it's slowly getting there but again just don't expect it to be like that right so pretty bullish news in my opinion again i would highly recommend going through the site going through the the board members bios like looking at what's going on look at what they're targeting and see if it makes sense to you right and for me it massively more bullish it's like crazy adoption after crazy adoption news it's it's insane and it's still early right and it's hard for me to say it or a lot of you guys also a lot we've been mining it forever we've been early investors for quite a while and it's just crazy to think that right and it's like on every front is just doing like extreme things right so we've been talking about it again since 22 where my channel was in its infancy and even then we we're talking about the weird things it's been doing as far as its growth it's what it's doing when it's it's insane right and even like on the mining front right with freaking marathon digital starting to mine it they've been btc only for the longest it's crazy and in a sense this is like hostile territory for any of these dedicated btc miners because essentially the majority are maxis in that community it's all maxis for so for them to consider doing an altcoin was a pretty big deal and for them to be so open about it was a pretty big deal and that just kind of tells you the extent there okay and again it's just we're still early right and then even on like the trading front we're not even on a freaking huge exchange yet we're not on binance we're not on coinbase there's still so much to go as far as adoption goes like it's crazy to think that it's crazy to think the potential it still has and where we're still going and yeah, what it's already done already, though, right? It's number freaking 28 out of all cryptos. Okay, it's just mind blowing to just see how fast it went up from nothing to this. Okay, it's just, it's crazy, bros. Like, it's it's hard for me to like not be bullish on like everything going on. Okay, and even like the project itself, right? KRC20, like it's smart contracts are in the early stages. We still haven't even fully implemented rust yet the nodes are there but it's like we still have that to look forward to you know 10 plus blocks per second it's crazy bros it's crazy 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 it's just again this kind of sums up a big part of the reason why i've all been so bullish on it it's just constant like innovation good news the team is out there the community's out there a lot of good things here right and that's why again a lot of us are just so bullish on it okay so let me know what you guys think, guys. What do you guys think of this new initiative, specifically this KII? Is this a good thing? Is it a bad thing? Are you guys still skeptical? I know a lot of you guys still are, and that's a good thing, right? It's always good to be a skeptic. It's always good to not trust things fully, right? We're going to see a lot of things coming up, but it's just, to me, these are just things in the right direction, right? And then I'm also kind of in a different place from a lot. Of, a lot of you guys who have been in it for a while. We're in different places, right? We've already kind of ran up like crazy so that's why it's still hard to think how early we are just because it's gone up so much like it's caspa is my biggest holding it's the biggest thing i'm mining it's crazy bros but let me know what you guys are thinking in the comments again do you think it's a good thing do you think it's a bad thing do you like the direction it's kind of going in are you against it let me know your thoughts and opinion guys but please comment like and subscribe thank you for watching guys and we are out